We are happy to announce that the latest versions of XRY, Examine, and Exec are now available. XRY 10.8 supports over 46,000 devices, 460 apps, and 4,500 app versions. XRY now supports iOS 17.1 and the iOS 17.2 beta, and we have added the ability to transcribe video and audio files, so they become searchable within Examine. We have also added support for Samsung warrant returns, which adds a wealth of potential data for examination. For Python users, we have improved the flow to make it easier than ever to run your scripts. We know that you need multiple tools, so we are pleased to report that XRY now supports import of the UFTX file format. XRY Pro sees a new exploit for Qualcomm chipsets produced between 2018 and 2020 and you can now extract RAM from certain Unisoc models. With Examine 7.8, you can now view Examine in dark mode, allowing you to review and analyze data in line with your device settings. Partial artifact redaction has been introduced, meaning you can now share files, ensuring you can align with legal privilege and sensitive cases. In the previous release, huge improvements were made to areas of interest, we have continued to build on that success and have now added the ability to resize, rename, and move previously saved areas of interest. In the 7.8 release of Exec Director, you now have greater control over user levels in user groups. User levels are now also more dynamic, giving you greater freedom to specify the level that a user drops if they do not meet your set criteria. The known data library can now be distributed via Exec Director, allowing for more efficient analysis. Please see the release notes for full details of what's contained in the latest versions of XRY, Examine, and Exec Director.